Got a project for the Malibu. It's 2015 Chevy Malibu. It's got the 2.5 in it. Not sure if that matters. Don't know. It's a wheel speed sensor. I will show the code that I got right now. Okay, so that wheel speed sensor says front left. And obviously, I've already jacked up the car, put a jack in there, and took the wheel off. I'm not going to film that kind of crap. So here's the sensor. See right there, I believe that's it. And it, no, 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 no. Here we go. It's the first time I've looked at it. So there's where the sensor goes into the spindle. And we got our wiring loom that goes down under here. Blah, blah, blah. And it connects there. So I've seen a lot of these videos where they jack the whole car up and they take off this underbody piece. And I just don't think that's freaking necessary. I'm looking at everything, right? So that's what we're replacing. I figured I'd do a video on it because why not even though it literally looks like we're moving some wire tenders and one bolt but let's go get the part real quick and see what it looks like finishing this today too hopefully uh, where did i put it with all this shit here we go let's get a little bit of light it's so terrible at my lighting these days This looks like the one. Okay, I just got this off Rock Auto. There's your part numbers. It was like 25 bucks or something. But I'm hoping it fixes this car. So what's been happening, and I'll go over this too, and why I figured out it was a wheel speed sensor, because it can apparently be a lot of things. Uh, the service stability track kept showing up on the watch's car, and the ABS light would come on, and she was feeling like pulsing in the brake pedal. So I ran the code on it and it didn't have a check engine light on, but I ran the codes anyway and in the ABS section it showed that this sensor was bad. So that's how I got to that. So I don't know if it's this or if it's actually the hub and the little magnet ring on it's breaking. I don't know. This car's got like 160,000 miles on it or something. So uh, let me, it's probably like a 10 millimeter. So let me get that in my little stool so my old back doesn't hurt and uh, some uh, little clip removers and let's knock this out real quick hopefully it shouldn't take us five ten minutes this actually is pretty easy it is just this little 10 millimeter bolt and i just used a couple of my clip removers and just pried all these out the new one comes with all the the wires the only thing i actually had a little bit of trouble with was this freaking this connector it doesn't disconnect like i'm used to so i just took a small screwdriver and put it up under here and lift it up on that little red tab and then pull the plug out and it came out easy enough then but let's go ahead and pull this out and look at it it's it's pretty dirty i mean if you're hurting for the 20 bucks you'll probably be able to clean that a little bit but uh i'm just gonna replace it it's the wife's car not mine and uh, don't really want her to be let down on the side of the road. And she drives this car all the time, so. Go ahead and open this fella up. Here. And I'm really hoping that this fixes the problem. And it's not the, uh, the hub, because that's a whole nother problem if it's the hub. That's gonna. Thing that goes in there pretty easy. See that clip there? Just go 
goes in there. Okay. So I need to get this out. Hold on so I can show you. I need to pry this out. I couldn't get it out all the way. It broke off the old one. So I need to get that out and these clips just clip in there and it plugs in and our I'm getting in my own way here it doesn't need to be too tight it's just plastic don't break it we do need to make sure all these wire tenders are back in here good so that's that's pretty much it for this really um let me get this out and reconnected and make sure everything is good to go and i'll probably i'll probably hook my machine back up and see if it's a stored code or not and i'll delete it and uh i'll cut back here in a minute and that's it um it literally took no time at all. I literally just broke that piece of plastic out and clipped everything back in, plugged it all in. Again, make sure your wire tenders are back in. You don't want this flopping around, getting twisted up, and bolted that back in. So I didn't disconnect the battery. So let's see here. If I can remember how to use this thing. Let's see, where is it? Where is it? There we go, there we go. Okay, so there's what we had. Okay. Oh. Okay. So we'll clear that. Erased. Okay. We're gonna leave it at that, and I'm gonna let her drive it. I don't know how often it pops up or something like that, but I'm gonna go ahead and let her drive the car. And we'll see if that fixed it. If not, I gotta take that hub off, and taking that hub off is gonna include taking all the caliper and everything off, and we gotta take all the rotor off. And from everything I've already looked at, I don't think we have to take the axle nut off, I don't think. God, I hope not. I think the hub just bolts on. I thought, no, it splines on, doesn't it? So you would have to take that axle nut off. Ugh, that's gonna be a monster. Let's hope that's not it. But anyway, thanks for watching, everybody. Hopefully that helped you. Come on, boys! Come on! Yeah!